was gold ultra glam look i was just playing around with some makeup and this look just happened out to be and i really like how it's turned out it's quite dramatic beauty of this look however is you can stop at any step and it would still look gorgeous like at the base shadow or the crease you can go for the wing you might not go for the wing you can go for the lashes you might not go for the lashes it's all up to you and you can stop at any step as i said so yes this is the look i've gone all out i wanted to try out something new and funky so this is what i've come up with i really like how it has turned out so yes if you want to know how i got this rose gold subtle golden glam look then keep on watching as usual, I'm going to start off with priming my face and I'm using this Makeup Revolution Ultra All Day Prime and Anti Shine Balm. And as usual, again, I'm going to start with the centers of my face and work this outwards. Then I'm taking these two foundations, actually one is a BB cream because it's extremely yellow. I wanted my foundation to be a bit more yellow because I'm currently extremely yellow. So yes, I'm just applying with my fingers first and then I'm going to blend it out with the Pack Flawlessly Me brush. And then taking the Fit Me concealer is going to go to my usual places. All of the shades would be in the bottom bar so check that out. I'm making sure my inner corner is properly covered up like you can see me doing here. And yes, orbital bone and up towards the hairline. Same on the other eye obviously. I don't even need to mention it all, I think. And then right under where my contour will be. Forehead. Between my brows, a bridge of the nose, Cupid's bow. I've said this so many times over and over again. You guys must be so bored of it. But yes, chin as well. And then I'm going to blend it out with my fingers. Only the uh, area under my eyes. And with the brush, the other areas. And then I'm going to bake lightly with the help of this Cryolin powder. I'm just going to apply a very light thin layer under my eyes. I don't want a very heavily baked look so I'm just going for slight baking. For my cream contour I'm going to go in with this Honey Bronzer by The Body Shop and I'm going to apply it with a pack brush. I don't remember the number of this. I'll probably try to write it in the bottom bar. So I'm going on my cheekbones as well as on my jaw to hide that double chin. Yikes! I'm also going to slightly contour my forehead today, just the temples mainly because I like doing it. It just completes the whole look and binds it together. And then I'm going to blend it with this brush as well. Once all of that is blended, I'm going to take this Matte Magique by L'Oreal and I'm going to buff it all over my face except my eyes. Once I'm done buffing with it, I'm going to dust off the excess powder under my eyes. I'm going to dive into this Vivo Blush and Highlight Palette. I'm going to pick up this blush shade from right here. I'm going to apply it on the apples of my cheeks. My application on this one was a little heavy. I blended it in later, so don't worry. And then I'm going to pick up this beautiful rose gold highlight and I'm going to highlight with this using the Ace Vivi fan brush and I'm just applying it on my cheekbones as well as the other high points of my face that is on the bridge of my nose, on my forehead, Cupid's bow, again you know the drill, oh my god. To make sure my face doesn't look powdery I'm just going to take this makeup fixing spray, I'm going to take a quick shower in it and then just let it soak everything up. <sighs> Then moving on to the color bar eyebrow pencil, I'm just going to define my brows with this. So I'm going in short strokes and just filling up my eyebrows. And with the spoolie side, I'm just brushing it out so that it doesn't look clumpy or unnatural or anything of that sort. 
trying my eyelids up with this Essence Eye Last State Eyeshadow Trimer. I'm just gonna pop this on my lid area and then blend it out with my finger, ring finger to be precise. I'm also gonna take this on my lower lash line because we are gonna be putting shadows there as well. As a cream base, I'm gonna put this ColourPop eyeshadow all over my eyelid again with the help of my finger. This will just give me a nice base for my eyeshadow which will come later on in this video. Then I'm taking this Tila Trio in the shade Goddess. I know it's been years since I've used this. I'm gonna pick up that dark brown shade and I'm gonna pop this in my crease with the help of this Sedona Lace EB13 brush. And I'm gonna blend out it with a help of an Eco Tools brush. That line was so grammatically wrong. Please forgive me. I'm also extending it out as you can see and then I'm gonna just moisten my flat top brush and pick up this beautiful makeup geek eyeshadow which name is in the spotlight which name is in the spotlight and I'm just gonna place it all over my lid as well as on my inner corner and my tear duct area like it's 12 like it's midnight and right now I can't speak properly so please bear with me I'm gonna dive in this Maybelline quad and I'm gonna pick up the black shade which you can see at the end that one right there and again I'm gonna take a pointed crease brush and I'm gonna pop this in my crease to define my crease even more and I'm going back in with that Eco Tools brush and blending it out because I don't want any harsh lines. And then taking this white shade, I'm gonna pop this right below my crease as well as in the inner corners just a tiny bit to brighten it up more. Taking this eyeliner from Streetwear, I'm gonna line my eyes and first I'm just gonna map out my wing. You can see me doing here. Here. Yes. And then I'm gonna bring it back onto my lash line as you can see me doing here. So yes, I'm doing that and then I'm just lining my lid or lash line. And then I'm extending my inner corners for that drama. I'm doing this step very slowly. And then I'm gonna thicken everything up to match my other eye. Then I'm gonna take Catrice Lashes to Kill Mascara and I'm gonna apply it to my top lashes first. Using that same Stila eyeshadow, I'm gonna do it on my lower lash line, put it on my lower lash line and then I'm gonna put mascara on my lower lash line as well. This voiceover is so fleeky. Because I felt this look needed more structure, I'm going in with my Ben Nye contour powder and I'm gonna just deepen my contour a little bit up with that same brush. Blending it out as well. And this time round, I'm gonna contour my nose slightly as well because I did not contour my nose at all. So yeah, I'm doing that. Just a tiny bit though. And then taking MAC Mare, I'm gonna apply this on my lips. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous shade. So yeah, I'm just applying it on my lips to finish off the look. With that, I finished my rose gold ultra glam makeup. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you did, then don't forget to comment and subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. Also, don't forget to check out all of my social media, which will be listed in the bottom bar as usual for you guys. And I will see you guys next time. Till then, take care. Bye.